In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amin. Today is the fourth week of the blessed month, Hatur, and we are getting ready to get into the blessed month of Kiyak, which on the 29th we will receive the baby born, our Lord, God and Savior and King, Jesus Christ. As we all heard today, the gospel is about that young man who was rich. And this incident that happened is being recorded in the three gospels, St. Matthew, St. Mark, and St. Luke. And St. Matthew described him as a young man. St. Luke called him a ruler. And as we all heard today, from what we heard, the description of this young man, the ruler, the rich, that he is also so gentle and so decent. He came running to our Lord Jesus Christ and knelt before him to ask him, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? So we are here with a question coming from somebody who lives a, a, a rich living and also he has his position among the society. He is decent, he's young. But what's great that he has a desire to inherit the kingdom of God. Because what it seems, all his qualifications didn't satisfy him. And because he is, has good desires, so he is asking our Lord how he might inherit the eternal life. As we all heard today also in the psalm, know, the Lord, know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. So he is the creator. He knows how he created us and how we can get the best results or how he can get the best results out of us if we allowed him. So as this young man, ruler and rich man, asked our Lord how to inherit the kingdom of God, God showed him the way and proved to him that he already on the way and he started. But there is a fight among himself between two desires. He came with a, a great desire. He is coming running. He knelt before our Lord asking him how to. And this is the first thing to, to, for us to know that we are on the way, to have the desire. It is all about the motivation. Are we motivated for this desire, the kingdom of God? We need to examine ourselves to see where we are. So our Lord Jesus Christ told him, that follow the commandments. Do not sin, do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal. Honor your father and mother. So he told him, I kept those. This young man reminded me with all of us when we come to our fathers to ask them, how can I be good? And our fathers always has the same answer. Just pray and have a good relationship with God. 
it seems that the human, all of us are seeking a different way or imagining that there, are, there is any other way but praying and being always in a good relationship with God and following his commandments. And when he told him that he kept, he kept those since he was, he was young, so God told him what to do. As, and before that, as we all listened, that Jesus looking at him and loved him. So our Lord Jesus Christ gave him a big dose of love from the way he was talking to him, from the way he was looking at him. And then asked him, one thing you lack, go your way, sell whatever you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven and come take up the cross and follow me. Here our Lord Jesus Christ is guiding him to put all his righteous in action so as to free him from any other desire but the desire to obtain and to gain the kingdom of God. And usually when we read this verse, we stop at that sell whatever you have and give to the poor and put full stop. Practically speaking, when we read carefully, we will see that our Lord Jesus Christ asked him to do a transfer. And to a transfer to where his treasures will never perish or go away. As he taught us, our Lord, in the Sermon of the Mount, for where your treasure is, there your heart, your heart will be also. So if we read the, if we complete reading the, the, the verse that he told him after to sell whatever you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come take up the cross and follow me. So the way for the kingdom of God is to free our hearts and minds from any other desire but his desire. To do a transfer, we are not losing, we are gaining. Thank God that we are blessed that in our church somebody long, long ago heard this verse and took it and applied it on his life. The great Saint Anthony. He heard it, he applied it, and as our Lord Jesus Christ responded to Saint Peter when he told him that we, we left everything and we followed you. So he told him that whoever do that will receive a hundredfold now in this time houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecution. And I think if St. Anthony sat with God to make a balance for what he gave and what he sacrificed and what he gained from that, I think it's way more than hundredfold. May God give us the desire and give us the ability to free our minds and our hearts from any love but himself. Glory be to God forever. Amen.